is officially one year old and we're been celebrating over the course of these tapings, which all happen in one day. So you might be enjoying about three or four episodes of birthday celebration. So thanks for tuning in and supporting Scenes from a Hat for its first year. Yeah! Yeah! As always, Scenes from a Hat has supported Minnesota talent. So let's meet them right now. In chair number one, we have the lovely M. A. Dorfler. <laughs> In chair number two, we have the very young Sally Ann Hunt. Sally Ann Hunt. In chair number three, the very vain David Allender. <laughs> And in chair number four, the very blue, Kenton Holden. <laughs> All right, welcome to Scenes from a Hat. We play this game by drawing comic scenes out of this hat, and everybody gets a turn to play on the games that we draw. But first of all, we need to get everybody warmed up with a little game we like to call Questions Only. So let's get everybody down onto the acting carpet. For a game of questions only, we enact a simple scene where our participants can speak only in questions. If they should happen to mess up, I will buzz them. They will go to the back of the line, and the new person coming into the scene will have the next question. But first, audience, give us a simple scene. They're in heaven. They're in heaven. Very interesting. We haven't done that yet. Take it away. This is the heaven questions only game. So what are you in for? Are you St. Peter? No. <laughs> Is there enough oxygen up here? Why would we need oxygen? Aren't we in heaven? Aren't we dead? Don't we like oxygen? Do you need oxygen after you're dead? I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> you think this arm will heal up now? How do you have an injury in heaven? Do you think there's a doctor? I'm sure there are lots of them. <laughs> Is my dog here? <laughs> I thought I'd be thin in heaven. Oh! That <laughs> Did your school bus crash? <laughs> Do you know me? Don't, didn't you see me driving the bus? You were my bus driver? Don't I look qualified? How old are you? Were you around in 1958? When was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you drown in that bus? Did the bus go over the bridge? Wasn't he driving it? Does he look like a very good swimmer? Do I look like I would know? I don't know. <laughs> Did you see those pearly gates? <gasps> Did you see the curtains? Aren't they fabulous? Don't you want them for your own? Do you want to go on a stroll on the, on the golden streets? Do you have the admission price? You have to pay? Isn't it one soul? I don't know. <laughs> Where's my mom? Where did she die? At a hospital. <laughs> Do they have picnics here in heaven? <laughs> Do they have wieners here in heaven? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have wieners on a picnic? This is my heaven. Oh. <laughs> <And scene. laughs> oh, let's hope the religious right doesn't watch this particular episode. All right, it's time to grab our very first game and start yeah. this show. Here we go. It is Poetry Corner. Let's get set up for a rousing round of Poetry Corner. And we will have 
David Allender as the host of Poetry Corner, where he's going to have kind of some strange people that are going to be reading poetry. And how about we get those suggestions from our studio audience? Sally Ann, who is she? What is she? What's she doing? She has the Benjamin Button disease. What? She has the Benjamin Button disease. She has the Benjamin Button disease, which means you're aging backwards. Kind of mm -hmm. stolen from Mork and Mindy, for those of you who are old enough to know that joke. Nanu, nanu. And how about, how about M.A. Dorfler? What's up with her? Uh, Little Mermaid. She's the Little Mermaid. All right, that sounds good. And Mr. Kenton Holden. Mary Shakespeare. He is Shakespeare. Mary All right. Had a little lamb. Mary. He's, Mary, he's a garbage collector. He's her, Mary who had a little lamb, or has whatever. Something happened to the lamb. We'll find out <laughs> in, the, in the poetry. All right, so here we go with Poetry Corner. Take it away, David. Uh, hello, and welcome to another episode of Poetry Corner. Our first guest is going to have a great poem for you. She has Benjamin Button disease. Donate here. Would you like to tell us a poem? Time, endless, yet finite. I am slowly getting younger. I am an old soul trapped in a young body. What is my life? Thank you. An excellent poem. Brings a tear to the eye. Uh, our second, our second poet here today is the Little Mermaid. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, folks, that's rough. Tough cookies there, Little Mermaid. Our third guest is uh, some something. Something to do with uh, with the fairy tale, something or other. I'm sure they'll tell us. Hi, I'm Mary. Had a little lamb. I once had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Well, thank you. That's been another excellent episode of Poetry Corner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go smoke American Spirits by the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> and scene! <laughs> All right, let's grab our second game and continue on here on Scenes from a Hat. This is Film and Theater Styles. Why don't we get M.A. and David down for a round of film and theater styles, what we do here is we have a simple scene enacted and periodically we will change the style into various suggestions from our studio audience. So could we please get some film and theater or TV styles? Kung Fu B Movie. Kung Fu B Movie. Car Show. Car Show, that's a new one. Very good. So let's have the simple scene birthday party. They're at a birthday party. All right. Nice. We will start with the regular old birthday party. Take it away. Well, do you think he'll like this present? You know, he's a year closer to being dead, so anything that you can do to cheer him up. I suppose. Wait, when are we? Kung Fu B movie. Or you can bring his death even closer. <laughs> are you the master of Kung Fu? I might be very well that thing. Look at my karate chop. Chop. You chopped my present. Oh no! War movie. We're gonna have to get a medic for the present! What? What? what Duct if tape! What if it's a bomb? Oh god, what if it is a bomb? Why would you? You bought it? Oh no. Did you steal it from those Germans? Well, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll stick it in here. Okay. 1950s sitcom. Oh, Rob, <laughs> you're so funny. I really hope he likes his birthday present. 
<laughs> well, he should. He really should just enjoy a party. You know, right. all of his friends will be there. I think he's really gonna like the gift card you got him to go right to the moon. Yeah. With Elon Musk. <laughs> History Channel. Right to the moon with Hitler. Hitler's always on the moon. Hitler's everywhere. I got him a little Hitler. Do you think he'll like it? Wasn't the moon landing in like the 70s? Well, only if you believe the conspiracy theories, but ancient Hitler aliens may have been there first. <laughs> uh, let's end with sports show. So the, the moon team and the Hitler team were, were really going at it today. They were. Both of them were really yep. on their game. And and it was it was great to see it was great to see the the quarterback out there. Yep. He he was really the MVP that Delta, this game. That Delta V action. It was really great. Mm -hmm. It was really great. It's going to be a good birthday game today. Yep. What absolutely. The, right absolutely. To, right to the moon. They, they went. They they scored points. There were points on the moon. It was great. Uh, I heard there was a doping scandal though. They were oh. they were shooting moon rocks just right in. Okay. Uh, drug tests have found out. Yep. Well, well, we'll have to find out more about that story, and, and we'll we'll find out, and we'll uh, see you next week with that that story. And scene. Thank you very much. All right, let's get Sally Ann and Kenton down for. <laughs> A second round of film and theater styles. Do we have any to add to the list now that you see how it's done? Cheerleading. Cheerleading. All right, we got enough. Okay, what is the simple scene that they will start out enacting? Shopping at the mall. Shopping at the mall, and then we're going to go into Home Shopping Network. How about we go into something else? What's this, another simple scene? Camping. First aid. Camping, there we go, that's a good one. Camping, take it away. Okay, so um, if you put the stake in there, then we can tie it off in that corner and I'll take this one, put it over here in this corner, and then we'll get the tent, I think, set up nice and nice and tight there. And then you can go right. inside. Do we have the bug spray? Here. Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I think Voldemort has the bug spray. Oh, my scar! Did you, did you bring your wand? No! We're never gonna get bug spray. How it's made. Because you see, they take the DDT and all the nasty stuff and they put it in a can and they pressurize it with, uh, I think it's Freon. That's why it's so cold when you spray it on. Yeah, and then they make it with the highest quality of tin, with the highest plastic of for the cap. Right, and then they yes. import it from China. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Car show. <laughs> do you really need to do that inside the tent? Yeah. <laughs> CSI. Okay, tell you what. <clears throat> we'll make our own bug spray. We'll take one of these mosquitoes here. Okay. And we'll put it under the microscope. Here we go. Take a look. What do you see? Can, is there anything we can use to kill it other than swatting them? I see that they are not immune to poison. They're not? They're not. Buddy film. Oh, I'm sorry I killed that. I know he was your favorite mosquito. He definitely was. Let's go find some more. Yes. And we'll be friends with them too. Yes, we'll make And then so they won't bite friends. us. Yeah. <laughs> Let's end with Saturday morning cartoon show. <laughs> I think we should go find some picnic baskets. Oh, I think so too. Well, let's get out of this tent. And I smell something. Ooh, it smells like sandwiches. Sandwiches. <laughs> we managed to go get them. Woo! Oh, and see. Thank you very much.
All right, here we go. New game, new game, new possibilities, new opportunities. And it's Party Quirks. We're going to set up for a rousing game of Party Quirks. And M.A. is going to be the host of a party, and she's going to have some rather strange guests. And what she is going to have to do is guess who they are. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So, Kenton, this one is for you. You will, en you will enter first. David, this is for you. You will enter second. And Sally, this is for you, and you will enter third. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh, there he is. Hi, I'm so glad you could make it. Oh, revoir. So long, no, 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 to see you. Oh, hi, welcome. Come on in. There's some drinks over here. Graciasus. Okay. Um, did, did you come a long way? Oh, not a long way. I came, uh, Donde Fantanchi Palupa. Okay, I don't know what that means. Hmm. Uh, okay, hi, hi. Hi. Did you can make it? Thank you. Come on in. Thank you, I will. Are there drinks? Of course, over here there's some drinks and uh, some snacks. Oh, there's so much, so much moisture in these drinks. Mm -hmm. So much moisture. Try the margaritas. Oh, I will try the margaritas. Yeah, they're the best. It's really yep, good. It's re oh, I gotta get the door. Hi. Scalpel. Uh, come you. on in. What's wrong with your leg? That's my arm. Oh, of course it is. Okay, um, maybe you need a drink. It's over there, over there. All right. Um, Hello. Hello. So, she doesn't uh, get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I. Tanto partially. See, I'm practicing on you. Okay. Okay. Did you hear Paliti Nanando Tupas. Okay, I, don't I, think so. I didn't I know never that I invited anything. somebody who spoke foreign gibberish. Yeah, there we go. He doesn't know foreign languages. Congratulations. Um, I need to, we need to turn up the, the music here so we can get more volume. That's well, better. Well, you know, I, I, I didn't really need the hairdresser at my party. I needed it before. Close it up. He's the shampoo girl in the commercial. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Let's listen to your leg. Oh, that's mm -hmm. not my leg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think I really should have a doctor who knows their body parts. There we go, a doctor who knows nothing about anatomy. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, let us grab another game. This is Quiz Show. Let's set up for Quiz Show, everybody. All right. Mr. Allender, why don't you be the host of our Quiz Show? The rest of our players will be contestants on a fictitious quiz show, the name of which will be suggested by our studio audience. What is the show that we are watching? Where's Guess who's the going baby? to prison? Where's the baby? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where's the baby? Here on Seeds from a Hat. Oh boy, I can't wait to see where this goes. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Where's the Baby? I'm your host, Doug Johnson, and today's winner will receive a brand new car and the losers will be drawn, quartered, and shot in that order. Uh, let's, look, let's meet our contestants. Contestant number one, uh, who are you? I, I'm Moaning Lisa. Oh. That, and what do you do for, for, a, for a living Moaning Lisa? Oh, I just sit around. Fascinating. Contestant number two, who are you today? My name is M.T. Headed. And what do you what do you do for a living, empty headed? What what is that supposed to mean? I don't know. I'm just here to look pretty. Oh. Contestant number three. Hello, my name is uh, Hayden Sik, and uh, oh. I am a composer. Fascinating. Contestant number three. Okay, let's get to our first question. This first what question. What is this thing for? I don't I don't know. You're gonna have to figure it out. I, okay, our first question, let's, let's just say, hypothetically, uh, a car just goes over a bridge and into, into a bunch of children and explodes. Where's the baby? Where do babies come from? I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody gets that question. Question number two. 
let's say you were going to make a nice fine salsa. Uh, how many babies would you need to make that salsa? <laughs> Player number three. Dos. Aww. That is the correct number of babies. Hey, if you, you need to get it nice and ripe, not too much. Not too much. Me, me. Well, can, can I help you with something there, player number two? Me. It makes a funny noise. It does. It does make a. Me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, question, question number three. Question number three. Let's let's say that you lost your car. You lost your car, and aliens are attacking. Where is the baby? <laughs> oh, player number three. In the front seat. That that's not gonna help you find that baby. I'm sorry, player number three. Bang! Player number one. On the moon. That might be correct. I think you're correct, player number one. We'll we'll <laughs> consult we'll consult the judges. Help me. Okay. Now for our final question on this episode of Where's the Aww. Baby? If you are are aging uh. backwards, Benjamin Button style, and eventually read you reach zero. Zero years old, what happens to you? Where's that baby? <laughs> player number three. It is in the vagina. That is the correct <laughs> answer, player number three. You get a car, and the other two of you, I don't wanna, I don't wanna see this. Beep, beep, beep. And scene. <laughs> oh, all you parents watching this show are gonna have a fun time tonight with your kids, thanks to Kenton. All right, and let's draw another game. This is number of words, number of words, everybody. Why don't we have M.A., David, and Kenton down for the first round of number of words. We're gonna have a simple scene enacted, but our contestants can only speak a certain number of words in their sentences. M.A., you get two words. David, you get four words. And Kenton, you get seven words. Ooh. You all thought I was going to say one, didn't you? <laughs> I fooled you. All right, and what is the simple scene that they are enacting? They are building the wall. Building the wall. Oh, boy, that's going to sort them out real quick at home. All right, so you're building the border wall. Here we go. Do you like walls? Big walls? Why are we building this wall? We really like wall. This is <laughs> but it just seems a waste because you get money wall president says who the f is the president <laughs> his name is Spartacus <laughs> oh in that case I'll do it I'm Spartacus you are not Spartacus Am I Spartacus, the one who was? <laughs> yes, you are, Smarty. He's Spartacus? Certainly he is Whoopee. <laughs> I finally get to be someone. Congratulations, today is you. Um, I guess I'm fine with that. I think we succeeded. <laughs> That's what's known around here as a cry for help. <laughs> All right, let's get Sally and Kenton and M.A. for another round of this. No comic left behind on scenes from a hat. Sally, you get three words. M.A., you get one word. And Kenton, you get five words. <laughs> All right, and what is the simple scene that we're doing now? They're changing a diaper. They're changing a diaper. It takes three people to change a diaper. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I'll take it from you. I'm not gonna argue that point. And let's take it away. What is this? Ew. You're not gonna get me. Poop. <laughs> is this baby? Ick. Look how much there is. <laughs> how Change? old is he? Change? He's old enough for 
all... <laughs> I won't change. You? You want me to change? Yes. I've never changed that before. How you change? Ick. Who are you? Frankenstein monster? Excuse you. <laughs> she speaks in monosyllabic words. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think, I think we got time for one last game. And it is courtroom. Let's set up for courtroom, everybody. Let's have M.A. as our esteemed judge and David Allender as our prosecuting attorney. And Sally Ann and Kenton will be cycling in as witnesses in this court case. We need to find out what that court case you got a star right here. Oh, from the... Yeah. <laughs> we, we need a, the case of the missing what? Statue of Liberty. <sighs> the case of the missing Statue of Liberty. Okay, take it away. Order! Order in the court. Well, first I'm going to talk, and then we're going to bring in a witness, and then another witness, and that's generally the order we're going to do this in. Oh, is that how it goes? That is, that is how court works, yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I will call my first witness. Witness! Introduce yourself to the court witness. Hi, my name's Peter Griffin. Okay, Peter, where were you when the statue was stolen? Well, I didn't see the whole thing, but I took its foot because my friend Quagmire has a foot fetish. That's Objection! You didn't offer the court a drink. What do you want to order? I'll take a rum and coke. Okay, you? I'll just have a whiskey. Got it. He seemed like a nice guy, I don't think it was him. Next witness. State your name for the court witness. I'm, I'm Timmy Joe. Okay, Timmy Joe, did you take the statue? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you really sure? Yeah. Who took the statue? Can I have a lollipop? Hey, can we change the channel? This is boring. Fine, next witness. <laughs> Who are you? I just go by Chunky. Why are you here? I don't know. Why am I asking you this? Because uh, uh, you're curious. Did you take the statue? What statue? Never mind, next witness. Thank you. Where's my drink? <sighs> Who are you? Introduce yourself to the court. I am the Statue of Liberty. Amen, hallelujah, praise the Lord, we found her. Justice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'd like to thank today's sponsors, gottagetatshirt.com and Princess Cheesecake. Thank you for sponsoring this episode of Scenes from a Hat in our birthday show! from a hat. Happy birthday. Thanks to our creator, Steve Murphy. I'm Nathan. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Yeah.